Jodie, the, the calm before the storm. Ellen Road on a wet Tuesday. Hopefully a, a nice sunny <laughs> Saturday uh, lunchtime. And hopefully a big crowd here to watch a great final. Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm really hoping the, pr- the crowd's going to be really big. I think, especially with there being such a brilliant game after it, the Saints-Wigan game, hopefully the Saints fans will make a day of it, get here early, support the women. You know, the club's been brilliant with us. The town, the buzz around that is, is brilliant. So, yeah, I'm hoping for a big crowd. And then, obviously, with Leeds getting there and it being at Ellen Road, I think they'll have really good support behind them as well. So, an amazing atmosphere. I reckon it'll be here on the day. And what an amazing stadium to play at. Yeah, you won the Cup at Lee last year. What are you expecting this year coming here on a Saturday afternoon? Well, the, whenever you stand at the side of the pitch, it always looks massive. I walked out here and thought, wow, that's a wide pitch, you know, a lot of space uh, there for, for our speedsters. You know, Leeds have got their fair share of speedsters as well. So, you know, for me, I think it's, it's trying to not get a bit to get too overwhelmed by by the stadium the occasion the pitch um you know we've got a job to do on saturday but we want to enjoy every minute as well because it's pretty special when you walk out here obviously you won everything last year how do you keep that momentum going and that that level of intensity going (laughs) because it's really nice to win stuff (laughs) yeah when it like it was it was incredible the hard work we put in uh, to finally lift a trophy last year and then you know we went on to get all three which you know was beyond our dreams really we knew we had a great squad there we knew we had good potential to win things but to do it in the style that we did you know I think you know it was more than we we could have possibly imagined so we've got pressure now to maintain that standard we you know it's expected that we win trophies now so the motivation for us is just to make sure we keep raising that standard that we are the team to beat and that we continue to win trophies Leeds have strengthened their squad and look so good so it's going to be really tough for us to get a victory on Saturday um, but we've got great girls there who are going to give absolutely everything they've got and put the body on the line to, to hopefully retain that trophy They had a tough semi-final against York you haven't conceded a point yet this season obviously you, you want to win every game to nil I'm, I'm not saying you want to concede <laughs> points but do you think that you, you're going to come in perhaps uh, a little bit undercooked compared to Leeds? I can see why people might think that. Obviously, they had that really tough semi-final, which was brilliant. We had one eye on that when we were waiting for our semi-final, and we knew that would be a really tough game for them. It could have gone either way. Um, so we've not had that physical test that they probably have. I think our quarter-final against Huddersfield was a really tough test for us. The improvement in Huddersfield has been brilliant, and, and they really disrupted us. I think for us, that nil, as much as you know, it, it might seem like the games have been easy, I think that's testament to our focus and pride in our defence irrelevant of whether our attack's been a little bit off at times it has been a bit clunky we've just made sure that we still have pride in that defence and no matter what we don't let in any easy tries because Leeds are going to throw so much at us if we're conceding easy points then we know we'd concede against them so that nil means a lot to us and that's the confidence we'll take into this game not necessarily how close the games were it's more that our defence has held solid no matter what for the full eight how important is it for the sport of women's rugby league or well just rugby league in general that you have got this great rivalry with Leeds going back a few years now yeah, it's like we're creating our own history. You know, everybody talks about, you know, all the different fantastic teams, the Wigan teams of years ago, you know, Saints Wigan derbies. Everyone's got a story to tell and we're part of that history now. We're hopefully the stories that people will be telling in 10, 15 years. When I'm retired and, you know, still trying to hang on telling you how it was in my day, I'll be talking about this great rivalry because it is brilliant and we know how good leads are from across the squad. They've got individuals that can win games on their own and we know how difficult it's going to be, but that's why you play rugby league for games like Saturday to play against Leeds we always look forward to it but even more so for a final and to be in a stadium like this so yeah hopefully we're creating our own history and and that rivalry is building year on year and it's great because we don't know who's going to go and you're going to go in as favourites on on Saturday but we don't know what the result's going to be but who's going to win the the big battle of the hair because obviously you've got a big advantage (laughs) at St (laughs) Helens battle of the hair yeah I mean Paige is always up there as as a solid favourite for for best hairstyle you know what, I quite like that about the women's game. I think at times, especially when I first started playing, we, we shied away from some of the more girlier aspects of it. But actually, that's what we're about as well. That's how we show our personalities, our characters on the pitch. So you will probably see a few a few quirky hairstyles, uh, a few coloured r- ribbons and bobbles that match the kit. And, and that's all part of the day of making it occasion. You know, I've had my nails done, especially with the red V on. So, yeah, I'm part of that as well. But it's all part of making the occasion what it is and getting excited in the build-up. But for those who are... I'm wondering whether to turn up early or not to get their seats early. We've got three women of steel on the pitch, fingers crossed. What would be the main selling point, do you think, to people to get them in to come to watch this game on Saturday? 
that are relevant it's going to be a fantastic game of rugby it's, you're not coming to watch women's rugby league you're just coming to watch a fantastic final of rugby league um, no matter what the score is uh, no matter who comes out on top I know it'll be a cracking game of rugby league with some amazingly talented athletes on show you mentioned these three women women of steel there's most of the England squad on show as well so it'll be a nice little taster for, for the World Cup at the end of the year I guarantee you won't be disappointed if you show up early and get down supporting the girls yeah.